everybody. Today we're talking about worms and how I do a, a fecal test on my goats because my husband got me a microscope for my birthday. I'm so excited. Okay. Uh, I was going to film actually collecting the poop, but on the walk out to the field, the goat that I wanted to collect from just squatted and pooped. So I assume that if you have goats, you've already seen them poop and you get the idea. And I just put some pellets in a water bottle here, an empty water bottle. I used a stick or the cap just to scrape them up into it. So I can take it home and float it and we'll show you how I do that next. The whole floating solution thing is pretty simple. You smash up the pellets, you put the pellets smashed into the container, and then you put the float solution in there. Now this is uh, actually a homemade one. You can Google how to do it. It's uh, Epsom salt and water. Gotta have lots of Epsom salt in there. So you fill it up, the eggs break free from the poop and sink to the bottom and they stay down there for like 15 to 20 minutes. And then you gotta strain out the poop so that you can see the eggs. And I don't actually have an actual strainer so I just pull it back out with a stick and we kind of over flood it a bit to help. Now that we're back near the microscope we've got ourselves a clean glass slide that we set on top of the jar and we set a 15 minute timer and leave it sitting like that. Okay, now we're removing the slide. You don't want to lose the water, so you gotta flip it over pretty quick. And they have these little glass covers that you plunk on. And now you're ready to put it in the microscope. Okay, now we've got the slide on the microscope. Let me show you this here. This is at a very low magnification. You can see those little ovals all over the place. There's like two, four, five, at least six of them on this shot. Those are the worm eggs. I'll zoom in on one for you. There's a slightly closer look. And we'll zoom in even more. Now my best guess from looking at pictures online and drawings is that this is some sort of roundworm larva which is the same species that barber pole is in so it could be barber pole or it could be a slightly less harmful version however there still seems to be quite a few of these in her poop so I would say that the wormer that I used did not kill them at least didn't kill them sufficiently enough okay so I did a little worm count here this was just before we wormed her at 166 worms that I could see on the slide. Though I don't have the grid slide, so the number could be wrong. And this is today, after worming, I think it's been about two days since I wormed her. So, at 188, so I would say there's like no change. The goat that we are doing a test on today is Dot. Because we actually just dewormed her, I think it was the day before yesterday, like in the evening. Because you can see how she's a bit skinny. She's currently lactating. So skinny is a little bit normal, but she's a bit too skinny. And her coat is really rough. Show them your anemia. She's also a bit anemic, which is an indication of the barber pole worm. So this isn't the only test we've done. We've also tested a different wormer and it seemed to be more effective. So we're switching over to that for a while to see if we can't kill these ones that are resistant to the other ones, to the other wormer, and maybe we can switch back to the other wormer later because it's kind of cheap. And believe it or not, my vet actually showed me how to float the poop because he's like, you have too many goats. I don't want to do all of this. You should do it at home. <laughs> so, this is pretty cool. I hope this helps you guys. I do recommend a microscope. It's loads of fun. And uh, that microscope we got on Amazon. And it was regularly like uh, 120 bucks, But it's on sale. It was on sale anyway. So, you don't have to pay a whole bunch to be able to do the, the tests. Have a great day.